Hey Rangers, welcome to the Super Unimportant Reviews. My name is Shin Godzilla. And my name's Red. Now, you guys might have heard that, uh, we're not really doing long form reviews over here. So, for the most part, you'll be seeing a lot more of us in these videos. Which is probably a good thing, all things being considered. Heck, I'm just happy we're finally back into these reviews. Cause this sure has felt like forever since we've actually done one of these. Sort of started missing it. Yeah, it just gives me more time to watch my animes. But anyways, today we'll be going over the Jack Specific 20 inch long Godzilla 2014 figure. Now, you guys may have noticed that this is one huge action figure which I guess accurately kind of conveys how he is in the movie well I think technically in the film he's only like 20 more feet over you or something like that pretty sure it's not this dramatic it's not the size that matters it's about what you do with that mass you've been given with and I have used my mass appropriately I mean hell at least you've seen me in my movie anyways for a quick rundown of the figure it has a decent amount of detailing on it but you'll notice on this side of the body uh you got a lot of them, slightly screw holes over there. Uh, opposite side of the body, not so much having to do with the screw holes. You get the elongated dorsal spines on the back. Decent amount of molded detailing, but not too much in terms of color variety. And the face, the eh, face is done okay, I guess. On the chest area, you get some gray, brownish gray dry brushing. And for the feet, you'll notice the nails are a little bit more elongated than what we got in the 2014 figure. Uh, but outside of that, well, so 2014 as in the the actual kaiju, not the toy, because they didn't they didn't make one of these back then. I don't think anyways. So for the most part, you get a decent amount of molded sculpting for the figure, but the paint job's a little lackluster and honestly a little too shiny. And then for the articulation, the arms can go up and down. Legs can go forward about that far, backwards about that far. And you get a rotation at the tail here and also here. All right, so to conclude this figure for 20 bucks, it's fine, I guess. The screw holes are a bit of a problem. And the paint job's a little lackluster. But I feel like it's one of those you get what you paid for. <laughs> because to be fair, this is a huge action figure. Yeah, he is pretty big and flashy, but also doesn't really have that much substance though. Kind of reminds me of a certain kaiju I know. Well, yeah, size does matter. It's literally on my poster. I think at least one of the promotional materials, like it, it was on the side of a bus. What's that was, well, it said it was the size of my foot, but like, I guess in the movie, you see my foot was like, a lot of different sizes. So, size to, um, it still matters. Yeah, because the scale in that movie is quite like your fan base. Non-existent. Huh, just like your chance for a sequel. What'd you say, you son of a Hedora? Get back here. Uh, see you guys in the next video, I guess. Okay, I guess we can actually do this a little bit more appropriately. So to retry this again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go support us on Patreon. They would have got to see this video three days in advance. So if you guys like to be kept up to date with the channel, or at least these videos anyways, best way to do that. We also have a Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook account if you guys would like to keep up to date on the channel. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.